okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, rooms changed a lot. Just came back from camp, and yeah, just moved the room and everything. So it looks better now, to be honest. But the camera's not over there anymore. It's over here now. So yeah, dark wood's still over there. And yeah, so yeah. Hey guys, it's Thunder Bat back here, and today I am coming back from camp. So I'm here to tell you everything that happened during the camp, and yeah, you know, I, I just had a lot of fun going through these four days because it, it was a time to hang out with my new friends that I made there, and also some of my old ones that came with me to this to this new school. So <clears throat> we obviously started up in the bus, and we went there. It was in a whole entire different city, so it took around four hours to get there on bus, and we had a lot of fun on the bus, you know. I'll also be putting up little, like, pieces of clips and stuff like that to show what actually happened, so yeah. And when we got there, we immediately got the keys to our rooms, and we went into the rooms, and the rooms looked amazing. I still have a few pictures of the rooms and stuff like that, so yeah. First day, it wasn't that many activities, it was just the opening day, so it wasn't, it wasn't the main, what do you call it, the main event yet. So, after that, we just went to bed, and the second day, when we, when we came into the second day, that was where the fun all just started, like, how do you say it? There, there were just like, double the activities, and just more things were like, fun that day. And we did a lot of stuff. We made food. I have a picture of the, the food that we made. And yeah. And we also made paper bags to donate to patients who didn't have enough money to get paper bags in a hospital that didn't allow plastic bags. So that was fun. I made the, what do you call it? The, the, the thank you speech, whatever it's called. I, 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 I don't know what it's called, but like, yeah. And... It was very fun. We got to swim as well. Great swimming time. I think where did we, we play? I, I, I don't remember what the sport is, but it's like it's kind of like soccer on water, football on water. For those of you who are British or any other nation that isn't the U.S. or possibly Canada, you know. So yeah. And when we went to bed that day, we had a, we had a party with our class, group call with our own class, and that was fun. So, moving on to the third day, we, um, what we do again? Oh, yeah. We did, like, a carnival type thing where it's, like, a bunch of games and all that. And it was very fun. Our, the game that our group did was darts. We wanted to be, um, very cool with this game, you know? So, we were, like, so the, the, the group with most snacks would win that what do you call it, game function. So, Every team started out the same amount of snacks and everything. What we did is that we pushed the limits to get a snack way high, like super high. So like, it's a competition between two players. It's winner gets snack, loser does not get a snack. While every single other game is like, however you, however you play, you're gonna get a snack anyway. We, we, we wanted to be literal, like, cruel people. Like, evil. Evil. So, we did that, and the snack you get is just like a, a tiny, like, I don't know what to call it, because I, I haven't tried it yet, but... Yeah. And then... If you beat your opponent by 25 points, you get a little bigger snack. Now, the reason why we did this is because one, we wanted to be very cruel, we wanted to be evil. Two, we didn't we didn't have enough snack. We know that we didn't have enough snacks to give to like the amount of people that are gonna come to the game. So like we had to we had to do that. And as the snacks come in, we put them on a table and said that this is for beating your opponent by this many points, this many points, like 40, 50, etc. So yeah, in the end, we didn't win the competition, but we got very close to winning, so, yeah. And, yeah, we slept that day, fourth day, we also swam yesterday, uh, not yesterday, the third day, but the fourth day was the day where we all went home and all that. It, I really wanted to stay there for a little longer, but... Another thing, another reason why I wanted to come, I wanted to come back home is because I know that you guys are gonna miss the videos, the vlogs that I make. Because I said in 
my last vlog that um, I only be making jump dash videos throughout the camp because it, it's like it's like the it's like the only thing that's easier. By the way, um, notification pops up. I had to take it out. But yeah, the only reason why I wanted to come back home—not the only reason, but like one of the big reasons why I wanted to come back home. What? <sighs> yeah, one of the reasons why I wanted to come back home is because you miss out on the daily, on the vlogs. I miss out on making vlogs for you guys to be entertained and all that. And I know that jump dash isn't enough. It's not fun to watch. It's just oh, you play this level, okay, I'm gonna watch for like ten seconds and then leave because that, that's not fun. A vlog, I can always keep you entertained depending on what I do in the video and stuff like that. So yeah, so it, it was very fun. I loved it and I'm back home. Yeah, really miss this place a lot. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. So uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel, Thunderbat, if you want to see more of these daily videos and Hit that bell next to the subscribe button to be part of the hashtag first squad and I'll see you guys later. Peace.